Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so it is time for our next leg of our journey here. Just to kind of show you what I've been up to. I did kind of come back to the castle here. I went back to the docks, got two more hardy salmon. I also jumped down into the... Uh, what is that? The Royal Hidden Passage. And I found two more mighty bananas. In addition to that, I did take my own advice and I went fishing up and down the river here, got myself a, you know, some stamina fish, some, what else was there? A mighty carp, stealth fin trout, etc. And I did kind of look around in that area. There's not as many razor shrooms in this area as I thought there were, or at least I'm not finding them, but I was able to scoop up a few. All right, just to show you on the map where we're heading here. I know, guys, we couldn't get Misko's treasure marked without actually going to get Misko's treasure, so ultimately we'll be ending up here. But there's some goodies along the way. As you can see, we're going to do a little bit of not train hunting along the way. Also, some car rock seeds. I am about ready to get my inventory increased just a little bit further. So, yeah, we're going to get a few car rock seeds here. Now, be aware there is a hands monster down here. So I'm going to try to avoid him. What I'm ultimately looking for is that little fountain right there. So hopefully I can swoop in here without waking up the beast here. And he's a little swimmer. Okay, just to kind of show you on the map where we're at at this point. So what I'm going to do is kind of head down south here. There should be another Karak seed on that bridge. Oh yeah, and there's some more goodies here, so... We're going to have a little bit of combat fun. Eh, not much to that, just a bunch of reds. Now, when I was out there kind of doing things on my own, I did have to kill a few things. There were some lizzles down there by the river, uh, a couple of octos, nothing too major. But I did roll up on a blue bobkin and a blue moblin. So I don't know if that's always blues or if, you know, my game is just starting to pro progress a little bit here from the reds. All right, so another reason I like this route, tons and tons of fire fruits. And additionally, we're going to have that Karoxid, as I mentioned. And I just toasted my bow. So funny story, I met my daughter out for a coffee earlier. And you know, I walk up, we say hello, and then she's looking at me kind of funny. So I'm like, what? She says, dad, you're, you're pattern clashing. I was like, what did you just say? So apparently pattern clashing is a thing. Yeah, so I think in my game I'm actually starting to progress here. That's the second blue I've seen. Oh, I did not one hit him. So yeah, getting back to pattern clashing, apparently I was wrong for wearing a striped shirt with plaid golfing shorts. Okay, I don't know that they're actually golfing shorts, but they're plaid patterned, so I'm just assuming they're golfing shorts. So yeah, apparently that's like a clothing fail. There is no striped shirt with plaid shorts. So anyway, hopefully most of you were just as confused as I was when I said pattern clashing. But I can guarantee at least one or two of you are probably already in the comments section. What do you mean you don't know about pattern clashing? Of course pattern clashing is a thing. Where have you been? 
That's okay. I can roll with the punches. So consider that a public service announcement. And now we all know what pattern clashing is. I can only hope she's watching this video right now. Just laughing. Alright, so anyway, just a slight little detour here. I don't even know why I came over here, to be honest. I guess... I wasn't really paying attention there, talking about fashion. So yeah, a couple of chests here. I'm, I know I'm kind of really getting off track here, but... Ultimately, I'm going to end up right around here, and there's a, there's a method to my madness here. There's a whole reason I came over here. But um, I figured, you know, since we're close, we might as well grab a few loot items along the way. Nothing great down in this well. There's a royal halberd. Or not royal, but knights. If you guys want that, it's literally right on the other side of that wall. You just gotta follow that river around. And right on the other side of that wall, it kind of opens up. There's a pathway you can grab that chest. All right, there's another chest up here somewhere. I believe it's a green rupee, so again, nothing great. Wait, maybe that was... Might have been a little closer. Yeah, there it is. So if you want your green earpee, go ahead and get the chest there. But what I'm more interested in is another Karak seed. Oh, I just got it. Never mind. See, I cannot multitask. I'm talking, telling stories, and I'm not paying attention to the game. Alright, so, you know, since we're here, have a little bit of combat fun, since, you know, we feel super overpowered and because we can. Oh, another thing I did while I was offline, guys... You probably already noticed, I got some more stamina wheels. Hot dog. Oh yeah, baby. You guys know me and my stamina. So essentially I just used all that not train hunting that we did earlier. And I warped over to King's Landing. Oh man, I missed that last bobkin. Oh well. So yeah, I just went ahead and took advantage of all that. And, uh oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, man. I almost didn't get that ascend point there. That would have been hilarious for y'all. Not so much for me. Oh, that's no bueno. And I didn't even get him knocked with that. That's unfortunate. Boy, it is not my day in the combat department. Wow. So this should be my what not to do when trying to kill Stone Talos video. Because I am having issues, and he's about to light me up again. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh man, I forgot my bow broke. <laughs> Alright, you know what, I need to get my bow ready here. There we go. Alright, so now that I'm paying more attention to my game... Unfortunately, I wasted a fairy doing all that, but that's okay. Alright, feel free to free, uh, freeze or whatever they call that. Fuse. Feel free to fuse that uh, weapon. I think I still have one from the last Talos I killed, so I'm just going to leave that be for now. 
So yeah, this is kind of really worth it here. As you can see, I just got a pretty good gemstone there. But the whole reason I came over here, well, two reasons. One is going to be not shrine hunting. And the other reason was this beautiful tree. Happy little trees. All right, so this is not the only cherry blossom tree. They are actually spread out throughout the land here. And you can feel free to talk to her. She'll kind of tell you a little bit about it. But uh, ultimately, all you have to do is pop any kind of fruit into the basket. And that will spawn the Lord of the Mountain. For those of you that played Breath of the Wild, I'm sure you remember this guy. But in this game, he has a slightly different function. Whenever you see these cherry blossom trees, you can pop that fruit in there like I just showed you. He'll appear and he'll actually mark all caves. All cave entrances. As you can see, there's those glowy kind of pins that just showed up all over the place. So we're actually heading to one of those. Again, Misko's treasure. So that one right across the way there where I already have it pinned. Um, that's the cave entrance we're looking for. All right, so again, lots and lots of fire fruit. So uh, speaking of Breath of the Wild, remember Gold Rush Mountain? And for those of you who didn't follow my videos for that game, that is Satori Mountain. I just called it Gold Rush Mountain because it was like ridiculously loaded with uh, loot. And I think there's another Karak seed here. There we go. So yeah, there's another one of these cherry blossom trees on that Satori Mountain. Right where the ancient horse gear was, under that cherry tree, where I always used to go for the Endura carrots. Alright, so where did this flower go? Oh. Boy, I'm really off my game tonight. I am super tired. It is super late. And I thought, you know what? I can stay up and do one more video. Now I'm kind of regretting that decision. So if you don't mind watching me fumble around a little bit, I'll try to get through this as best as I can. So yeah, Karak Seeds, definitely. And there's another one right here, but before I go to that... Ah, uh, see? Okay. I think this is normally a red one, but now it's blue in my game. And that's unfortunate. I was really hoping I'd get some more red ones. But that's okay. I'll just make do with what I got here. Probably a little overkill on the bow, but you know what? It is all good in the neighborhood. Y'all know me, I can't survive without my ice arrows. I don't know why I just opened that chest. I knew I didn't want that weapon. But that's what's in there if you so desire. See here, there should be a couple more baddies in here. One, for example, right above this platform. There should be another cavity up here and a guy hiding. Right on cue. Hopefully I'll kill him without blowing myself up. And I think this chest is a little more worthwhile. Yes, sir. One more baddie out there if you guys want them. A couple more boxes to open there too for arrows. Alright, so from here I like to ski daddle across the bridge. 
There's another Karak seed over there that we need to dive in for. And there's another stone talus over there, but yeah. I'm gonna forego the kill. You guys feel free if you so desire. So here's where we're at at this point. Now from here I'm actually going to go back across the bridge. I really just trucked over here for that Karak seed. And this is one of those... I need to reach my friend. And I really rather enjoy these. Yeah, they're a little time consuming, but you get two seeds out of the deal, so... You know, one way or another, you'd be spending time finding two seeds. That's the way I look at it anyway. Alright, so this one... I just kind of do the short version on the build. Since they give you the free parts here, I take full advantage. And stand on the tip of this plane so it kind of nosedives as soon as that rocket flames out or whatever. Because there is a fire wizard around here somewhere, aka Dancing Idiot. Here. Yeah, I think I'll just go straight for the cave. He's got a fire rod, but you know what? Actually, yeah, I, I kind of want that. I don't have any fire weapons on me at the moment. And this just kind of saves a ruby from having to build one. Just like Breath of the Wild, the opposite... The opposite, um element will kill those things one hit and while we're here i'm going to show you guys a little trick to these boulder spitters these like likes that spit the rocks out got a little trick to this guy so what i like to do is just kind of wait for him to spit a couple and you know try not to get hit in the process as soon as he throws the uh, as soon as he oh man i missed all right i'm gonna do that again as soon as he spits the third one out, you're going to need to do that, but I didn't pop it in time the thing despawned. Ouch. Alright. Go ahead and simply recall that bad boy, and it will pop that guy. And you don't even need to wait for the third one, I normally just do. You could have absolutely done that with the first one. But here... You'll need the third one, because that's when he opens up that little sweet spot. I actually had to run away. I was afraid that chest would finish me off. So yeah, anyway, uh, use that recall on the first boulder he spits out. That will break his shell, and then on that second round, hit the third boulder with that recall, and that'll hit that sweet spot for you. Alright, it is way past my bedtime now. Alright guys, so... I'm actually going to forego using my rock hammer to break all these up, but these can drop luminous stones, so I do recommend, you know, whatever method you choose. Just take a moment and get some of these things broken up. I won't get every single one, but I do recommend y'all do that. All 
All right, so here we are with Miska's treasure. Now this cave, it has another stone talus in it and some more luminous stone type deals. And we're gonna actually have to bust up some of those luminous stones to get through a false wall, so to speak. And that's where the treasure will be hiding. Okay, so welcome to the cave. Now I like to kind of stick to this upper ledge in the beginning, there's some loot here along the way. And I better top off because I'm just not really with it right now. Uh, nuts. I flew up. Oh, I am not launching a bomb arrow there, am I? I flew right into that pillar. I wasn't even looking. Ah, low yield today. Alright, I've had enough. So lots of goodies in the cave here. Again, there's that stone talus. Be aware of that. He doesn't light up with my rune, but he's there. Right in the middle. Okay, and a lot of these rocks, when you pick them up, spam that A button. There's going to be random loot under those in this cave. I didn't get one that time, but... More often than not, you'll find something under there, an insect or rupees or something. But I'm just having zero luck. And lots of other goodies in here as well. Okay, so that there's that false wall I mentioned. Now, just a good rule of thumb. If you see these, like, weird-looking flag things sticking out in a cave, that's a pretty good indicator you're in a cave with some kind of a good treasure chest, some kind of a a clothing item, a.k.a. Misko's treasure. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're out and about and you're exploring random caves. If you do see those flag things kind of, you know, hanging around and you did not find any kind of special treasure chest, look, you know, take another look. Uh, chances are pretty good you're missing an entrance or something that you have to duck into or blow up to get into or... You know, something along those lines. Okay, so this, guys, this is really going to start helping us out here. So I'm going to take off that... What am I wearing here? That Frostbite shirt, which was only good in cold weather. Not only that, but this one's got a slightly higher armor rating. And it works in all climates. So definitely just got a good upgrade there. And I might as well go back to where my... Huh. I wonder if that constitutes pattern clashing. This one's for you, daughter. Alright, so, you know, I just wouldn't be a good dad unless from now on I wore striped shirts and plaid shorts every chance I get. Alrighty, guys. So now that we have Misko's treasure chest out of the way, that should have cleared that X off the map. And before I forget... I'll mark that bad boy with a star. And before I actually cut video, I am going to kill that stone talus just because I'm feeling froggy, so I'm going to jump. Oh, speaking of frogs, there is a bubble frog in here. Every cave has one. This guy's right out in the open, which is super cool. But I think that's going to trigger that talus, so I better get ready for a fight. And I'm feeling really froggy, so it's time to up the ante on my weapons here. Alright, so on this guy, I like to trigger him and then take advantage of a little bit of a climb. Just so I can get some air in. Get a little damage in from the air. 
Not to mention getting him knocked down. That's what I was trying to do on the last Talus, but I just wasn't doing that right. Okay, you should be able to get two good runs in with that weapon plus. Alright, that was much more under control. Oh, a little tidbit here. So this is a Luminous Stone Talus Heart, not just a regular one. You notice it's glowing. So what I like to do is actually kind of build a weapon with these. Let's see what I got now. Uh, since that's pristine and I know it'll last a bit, I'm actually going to... Uh, scratch that. Because the spear, when you have them equipped, they stay upright. I want to attach that to something that will not stay upright. I just don't want to attach it to anything that I actually have. Alright, so the whole point of that is, while I'm walking around with that thing equipped, notice it's lit of the ground and notice it's glowing. So what I like to do is just kind of hold on to that for the depths. It just kind of helps to light up your area a little bit without having to change into the clothes that do the same thing. So it just kind of opens up your options a little bit. So, you know, clearly you don't have to do that. That's kind of a personal preference type deal there. But it is, you know, handy to have it if you so desire. Alright guys, I'm pretty much done in here. Before I cut the video, I do want to grab another not shrine hunting. It's actually like right above us. Uh, another Karak Cedar 2 as well. But before I actually ascend up out of here, I want to grab what I can. A lot in this cave. You just have to really get around looking for it all. Alright, I am out of here. Let's see if I can find a good ascent spot. A little tricky in here because everything's so jagged. <laughs> Pattern clashing. Like, really? Is that the shrine I already triggered? Yes, it is. Okay, so the one that I'm looking for now should be back behind me somewhere. And it's going to be kind of buried in those... Old dead tree stumps, but for now, let's go ahead and get our Karak seed while we're here. And I don't have the map over here exactly, so we're just going to kind of have to wing it a little bit. Oh, and there's another hands monster here. So, you know, honestly, I thought this had a lot to do with, like you know, getting away from him or making the game trigger to open a chest or, you know, kind of take control of the screen, like a little cutscene or something. But I am also able to do it without having to even do all of that. So I don't know if it's just a timed thing strictly, but I do know I can literally just stand here and watch this dude die. And I didn't get my stopwatch out or anything, but I don't know, probably 15 to 30 second time frame is about right. So you don't have to ascend, you don't have to trigger a treasure chest or do anything crazy, you can literally just kind of stand there and watch them die. Pretty cool little tidbit. Alright, let's see here. Uh, that shrine is back in here somewhere. It 
There we go. All right, since we're here, I'm actually gonna go to that little bad boy nest we just saw. And since I got the stamina, yeah, buddy. So much more comfortable having that extra, just, you know, just those two little vessels helps tremendously. All right, so there should be three birds at this place, but I only see two. Which means the third one is going to catch me by surprise, and that's okay, I guess. There he was. He was hiding. Oopsie. Oh, that just got fire arrows. That's what I come here for. Random ingredients. More Karak seeds, but you know what? We don't have the map here yet, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it. It's way past my bedtime anyway. The real point of this whole video was the Misko's treasure. Because, you know, we can't get little X's on the map and then not get excited about going to get them. But uh, there's actually two of those, but I think I'll do that on the next video. That bad boy is way down here. So, alright folks, I'm going to go ahead and... I hope I got all the Croc seeds I was thinking of. Looks like I did... I may have missed one there. Like I said, I'm super tired. All right, guys, hope that helps. Best of luck to you and happy hunting.